We're now moving to the candidates for State House of Representatives, starting with Mr. David Tarnas. Thank you, and aloha. aloha. I'm a 30-year resident of our area here, raised my kids here. My wife and I have built a successful business here. I've served our community in many ways as your state representative 20 years ago, also serving the community on boards of many associations related to education, community, health, and the environment. I also play the flute with a number of community arts events in our community here. I'm an active member of my church here in Waimea and volunteer for numerous organizations. As an environmental and community planner, I focused on building a strong economy here in Hawaii, a vibrant community, and protecting our environment. The issues we face are complex and difficult. I know I've spent my entire adult life here working to bring people together, wrestle with the issues, sort out the conflicting views, and hammer out realistic solutions. I've worked for key industries that make up the core of our economy on the island here. Agriculture, tourism, forestry, renewable energy, astronomy, construction, healthcare, ocean science and technology, marine resources, ocean recreation, and, ocean, uh, and, and fisheries. This real world experience in local business sets me apart from the other candidates. I've also worked on key infrastructure projects for public agencies as an environmental consultant, including highways and harbors, watersheds, and fishery management areas. Voters tell me they want a change in the status quo. They want new leadership. I can offer my skills and experience to address these top priorities in our community. When I served as your state representative 20 years ago, I was successful at bringing home significant resources to help pay for schools, highways, airports, and harbors. I was also able to sponsor successful legislation that addressed marine resource management, healthcare reform, civil service reform, car insurance reform, education, renewable energy, and forestry. After just four years, I was already in House leadership, chairing a committee, but more importantly, I was part of a reform group of Democrats. These are reform Democrats working to change the system from within. We changed the rules of the House to make it more collaborative, more transparent, easier for people to track legislation and submit testimony. Voters tell me they want someone not only with experience at the legislature, but experience raising a family, running a small business here locally, and a demonstrated ability at taking the lead in solving tough problems. Voters tell me we must address the crisis of homelessness and substance abuse, build a sustainable economy that produces more of our own food and energy, and strengthen our public education and public health system. I have the knowledge and skills and drive to be effective as your state representative. Please vote for David Tarnas, August 13th, State House. Mahalo. And now we'd like to hear from Cindy Evans, who is the incumbent in the job, State House of Representatives, District 7. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening and aloha. 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 First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and being involved. Because I do think as a state representative, what it is is about what you want. Our job is to listen, to understand, and fight for you at the state legislature. What I have done since I've been your state legislator is work my best to become the best legislator at the state capitol. I've understood that we are a minority. Neighbor island legislators are a minority. We have to work collaboratively. So the Big Island delegation, which is seven representatives and four senators, have to come together also to figure out what to do for our island. The priorities that I have heard over the last months of talking to people that I think is coming from you, not from me, is agriculture. It's huge in Waimea, huge in North Kohala. I have been very involved in the discussions in terms of water development, small farmers, capitalization loans. What is it to help the farming community? Because why? Because I hear over and over again that you want more food. You want farm to your table. That is what you want. It's going to take the state working with the Department of Agriculture and with all the local folks to make that happen. 
Number two is I believe you want infrastructure. I keep hearing, keep working on the roads, keep working on the schools, keep working on the harbor. I have to tell you, since I've been your legislator, that is what I've been doing. I have been bringing money to Kauai High Harbor, to the schools. And I have to point out to you, the schools is all the schools in the district, including Honoka'a High School, Kohala High School, Kealakei, the complex area, Waimea, all these schools are within my district. So I work on all the schools, doing the best we can. We do play courts, we do playgrounds, we do classroom buildings, we do libraries at all the schools. We've been working really hard on that and been very successful at that too. The other thing is, is exactly what some of the other people have spoken about, and that is workforce development so that we have a vibrant economy and really good jobs for folks. But what does that really mean? It really means we have to work on education, and I am happy to say that we brought Palamanui Community College campus to West Hawaii, which is a real game changer. That took about 10 years of hard fighting for it, working with the Board of Regents, working with the uh, chancellors, working with the community, having meetings, petitioning, talking, getting the money for the design, getting the money for the construction, and it isn't over yet. We have to keep expanding Palamanui. And the other thing uh, in terms of workforce development is just what was talked about. We have to build a strong healthcare workforce because that's one of our biggest challenges is we have an aging population. We have to build our workforce. Thank you. Now remember, your choice on August 13th is between one of those two Democratic candidates, David Tarnas, Cindy Evans, and they will face Mr. Jeff Coakley. You gonna join us, Jeff, for your three minutes? Of course, I'll You don't want this thing, you're not the crutch? <laughs> 15 seconds when he flashes the yellow. All right. Je and Jeff Coakley will be on the ballot in November, as well as this one. Very, thank you, Sherry, thank you very much. I'm gonna send this the memo where you could use your notes. So I'm gonna have to wing it here. My name is Jeffrey Kalani Coakley. I was born and raised in Hawaii. I graduated from the Kamehameha School of Boys. I uh, attended San Mateo uh, College on the uh, San Francisco Peninsula. At the same time, you had the Black Panthers going off in Oakland and up in Hayden Ashbury Street up in San Francisco, you had the hippie movement. Soon after that, unfortunately I was 18 years old. I forgot that you had to register for the draft. And in 1967, 1968, I was in Vietnam. One thing I'm going to tell you about in Vietnam, one thing that I saw, we were going through the jungle, and we came across a path, something like this, about this wide. Everything was dead. The only thing standing was big trees, denuded of bark, leaves, and everything. Their limbs pointing skyward, seeking help, I guess, you know. Later I found out what that was, years later. That was Agent Orange that was produced by Monsanto and Dow Chemical Company. In 1971, I moved to Kohala, and I met my wife, Lonnie. She was also a graduate of Kamehameha, even though we didn't know each other there. We got married, had four sons, one of which I trained to uh, swim in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. And today, I still continue to teach kids to swim. Two of my past swimmers, I'm gonna brag a little bit. Uh, I didn't have any, uh, uh, I didn't contribute to them to go to Harvard University, that was Jordan Virtue and uh, uh, Zipotowski, I forget her name already. Right? But <clears throat> that's what I do with kids. I teach kids Hawaiian cultural practices. I don't just talk about it, it belongs to our organization. I teach kids about conservation and preservation of our marine resources. I want to go back to Kuala in 1975. 1970, oh. Wow, I was just on a roll, bro. I got the notes, no? Testing, testing, okay. In 1975, the Koala Sugar Company uh, closed. I saw grown men cry because they couldn't feed their families and they couldn't pay their mortgages. What made it worse is the land tenure system went from sh growing sugar to raising of cattle. They erected fences and gates and eventually those gates were locked. I had nothing against the ranchers, they were protecting their livelihood, okay? But what that did was, it kept the people of Kohala you know, access to subsistent areas where they fished or hunted to feed their families. Something in me told me that that was wrong, that wasn't right. 
and we needed to do something about it. And that began my career as a community adver uh, organizer and an advocate for people. We organized a group of plantation workers and we fought against what we called the man. The man was casting hooks. The things that I want to change, I got 30, 15 seconds, is number one, we're getting hammered by taxes. I want to repeal the 4% tax of food that we eat. I want to repeal the tax of medicine. And thank you very much. Thank you, I'll be at the table. Let's give a warm YMAF thank you to all of our candidates.